See, the things that I were thi that I was thinking were one that never mind. Forget that what I was about to say. The other one, what was gonna be number two, but will now be one and only, um, is that my first thought is that there's only one set of tracks, but then when I looked at it more, it kind of looks like there's two overlapping each other, and I was thinking maybe they did that on purpose to like cover it up, but really I don't think that is. I think it's just how the how it would look, how it looks with one set of tracks. But the other thing why I didn't immediately go with that is because I just, I don't know where I would present that. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe I'll just present it on the one where she talks about the tracks. I mean, look at all of it. She can drive a snowmobile. Oh, this is the one where she says came back. And that's the other thing, though. I noticed that it looked like there were only one set of tracks, but we knew that the snowmobile was there, and it's still there then, so... There had to be, you know, a back and forth. So that's why I wasn't sure if I should go with that angle, but I mean, that's the only thing I got, so here we go. I admit this photograph proves something. It proves that the snowmobile was used on the night of the murder. You finally accepted the inevitable, it seems, Miles Edgeworth. However, if what the witness says is true, why is there only one set of tracks? What do you mean? Iris left Hazakura Temple, threw the weapon into the river, and then returned. If this was the case, then naturally there should be two sets of tracks in the snow. Those from heading out of the bridge, and those from coming back. Ah, you're right. Hmm. You are forgetting one thing, Miles Edgeworth. On the night of the murder, it was snowing. The tracks leading to the bridge were erased by the snowfall. Shit. This removes your precious contradiction now, doesn't it? I see. While she was at the river, the snow stopped, leaving just the return tracks in the snow. What do you have to say now, Miles Edgeworth? Is there a flaw in her theory? This idea that the snowfall covered one set of tracks? Uh, it can't be flawless. The tracks to the river were covered by snow. What a nice theory. However, Miss Von Karma, that is impossible. But you care to explain why there is a rude index finger currently pointed in my general direction? No need, the evidence will do all of the talking for me. On the night of the murder, the killer went to and returned from Dusky Bridge. In order to dispose of the murder weapon, the outgoing tracks were erased by snow. Or, or, ah, oh, excuse me. I choked and I need a drink of water. So claims Miss Von Karma. That's refreshing. Mr. Edgeworth, present your evidence to the contrary, eh? Evidence that the outgoing tracks were not covered by snow. Uh, let me look at the weather thing. The weather report? Yeah. Snow, 7 to 10.50. Uh, what time... I, I, what time is all this happening? I can't look at the testimony. Because she said she went out, like, 11... Right? Right? I mean, that's gotta be what it is. As we're talking about the snowfall, so... It's gotta be the weather data either way, so... Whatever the specifics of the time are, there you go, you guys discuss it. I'll sit back and watch. Witness, please tell us again what time it was when you witnessed the crime. Like I said, it was around 11. Of course, this means that the weapon was thrown away after that time, correct? Okay, sure. On that note... Please take a look at this data. It is the weather report for Eagle Mountain on the night of the murder. The weather report? Snow started to fall at 7 p.m., but it stopped at around 10.50. Uh, oh, excuse me. Hiccup and burp combo. Therefore, when the sister witnessed the crime at 11 p.m., the snow had already stopped falling. It is impossible for any tracks made after that time to have been covered up. Order, order. Very well, then. It looks like Miss Von Karma's claim has been snowed in. It's too soon to be closing this trial due to snow. Miles Edgeworth, how pathetic of you to rely on the weather of all things. Answer me this, then. When is a weather report ever correct? 
Oh no no no! You've got it all wrong. This isn't a fort. Yeah, exactly. Like they, this is after the fact. They're observing what factually happened. Forecast data. All no. No. Oh, it may have been. Why don't we just use that fucking logic for everything? Oh, you know, well, it could have been. That's brilliant. Brilliant courtroom logic, Franziska. I actually really kind of miss this. Going up against Godot can be fun and funny, but getting mad at the prosecutors is so much fun. I really missed this. So I actually like having her back. But yeah, like, what the fuck? You can't just be like, oh, well, it could have. This could be wrong. Well, this could have happened. You, maybe this, maybe that could have been a thing. Like, anything could have been anything. We gotta go on what is. What we know to be. Not what may be, maybe, somehow, maybe could have. I don't know. Maybe fucking Iris is an alien from Glazonger Dash of the Vectron Spectre Galaxy. Maybe, you don't know. Fuck. Anyway. I've come this far. There's no turning back now. Very well. I, too, cannot allow any doubt to remain concerning this testimony. Ha! You can't back down, can you? Such a perfectionist, Miles Edgeworth. Like, oh, maybe the weather report's wrong. You got this, uh, this knife that was found in the person's body with their fingerprints. Well, maybe that's wrong. You can't just say that. Okay, what do I have for evidence that it stops? Uh, well, this was buried in the snow... And it wasn't covered completely, but would that be it? Would it have... I don't know. We also have... Hold on, let me look at this real quick. I want to see if you can get a good look at her face, but you really can't. Not in super detail. Anyway. Her autopsy. That's the one that he had. Ours doesn't... This is the one that shows up close. Well, I mean, she's not covered in any snow at all. So yeah, it's much more likely that one rather than the staff. Ultimately, it all comes down to one point. That being, whether or not it was snowing in that courtyard when the victim was stabbed. That's right, but proving that is... incredibly easy. If we want to know whether it was snowing or not, this photo will tell us everything. Of course, I am referring to the photo of the crime scene. As you can see, everything is covered with snow. With just one exception. And that is... The victim herself, Miss Elise Donim. Why is there no snow on top of her? The answer is simple. It is not snowing when she was killed, that's why. There we go. In other words, if the killer really did go to the Eagle River to dispose of the murder weapon, then in this photograph, there should be two sets of tracks. But we know that the snowmobile was there, and it's still there, so... What, the only explanation is that they drove perfectly over the first set, which means that it's entirely possible she could have taken it, so I'm not really sure what we're actually getting at here. Unless I'm just being stupid. This is simply what all of the facts point to. That night, someone used the snowmobile. Okay, so we are admitting that that happened. But they had to return because there's a, it's back. It's, it's there again. We know that they left because there is a set of tracks. Yes. From the tracks left, it can be understood that they were heading for Dusky Bridge. At that time, it was still snowing. Of course it was, because those tracks were gone. Okay, I was getting confused. So we are admitting that they return. I'm confused. I've actually lost track of something here. Like, if we're admitting that they went there and came back... Okay, it's because of the time frame. It's hard to keep track of the exact... That's right. Alright, I got it. I'm fine. Ignore me. Can I say something? This all sounds a bit fishy to me. What does, sister? There's only one key for the snowmobile. Furthermore, on the night in question, we know that the defendant had it. The key was found in her room after the murder. 
which can only mean that night. Iris used the snowmobile to go to the Inner Temple. But Iris said that she never went there. I should probably press on this point some more when I get the chance. I'm gonna need Larry in here. The snowmobile can't cross the suspension bridge. So, she must have left it on the Hasakura side of the bridge and crossed on foot. I need Larry to come admit about his note. But, what's odd is, when I left Iris and returned to Hasakura Temple... I didn't see anything near Dusky Bridge. Okay. You must have just failed to see it, sister. Maybe, but when I made it back to Hasakura Temple... Unless it's Larry that took it, and he took it to Heavenly Hall. I know what I saw. It was covered in snow, which, I mean, that would make sense, because I'm pretty sure we're going to have to bring him up, too. So, if we could find that out, and also prove that Iris didn't go, because he didn't meet her, then... There we go. Order, order, order in the court. What does this all mean? Yeah. So then what was the snowmobile used for? It wasn't taken by the defendant when she went to the inner temple. If it had been, then the witness couldn't possibly have seen it by the gate. Furthermore, it wasn't used by the killer to dispose of the murder weapon. If that was the case, there should be two sets of tracks in this photo. All we know is this. After it stopped snowing, someone used the snowmobile to return to Hazakura Temple. Hmm. I never thought a simple snowmobile could cause so much trouble. I think we've arrived at this point due to the witness. Yes, yes, I have nothing more to add. I've told you everything, everything that I know. Well then, that still leaves us with the same problem. If only there was someone, a witness, who could testify to having seen the snowmobile. There is, Your Honor. A witness, huh? Was there no one out, walking perhaps near Dusky Bridge on that night? I don't think that's likely. It was cold enough to freeze your ears off. Only an idiot would go out. Well, there you go. Unless they had something really important to do. Hmm, that's a shame. Hold on. Something is coming to me. An idiot may well have gone wandering out on that subarctic night. Your Honor, I actually have an idea. I thought he was going to say I actually have an idiot. <laughs> there may be one individual able to help us. Really? You know of someone who might have seen the snowmobile on the night of the murder? I don't know for sure if he saw it or not. But there are two things about him that do come to mind. Which are... First, that he saw something incredible on the night of the murder. Because did somebody else take the snowmobile back? Is that the incredible thing? Why would that be incredible? And the second being... This individual that I am thinking of went wandering outside on that cold night. In other words, he is our kind of idiot. Mr. Edgeworth, who is this idiot you're talking about? It's Phoenix Wright! It's Godot! It's Gumshoe! No, it's none of them. It's, excuse me, court record. That's very rude. His name is Loris Donum. Come on. This guy must be a product of Jean-Luc de la Duke's Guide to a... <laughs> what? <laughs> this is Larry Butts. The student of the victim, Elise Donum. A student? Interesting. Why was he wandering on the night of the murder? That's... well... I could tell them all about his designs for Iris, but it may cost us his credibility as a witness before I even call him. He is, after all, an artist. He was, perhaps, searching for something in the snowy scenery that would move him. Edgeworth's sneakiness being on my side this time is pretty cool, although it rubbed off on Phoenix when he lied during Case 3 about the bottle. Although I cannot guarantee that this is the reason. And so, this unfortunate, unreliable-looking man, what exactly was it that he saw? I intend to extract that from him right here in the courtroom. Summon this youth as a witness immediately. I have no choice, do I? I believe he is in the gallery for this trial. It will not take long to summon him. Very well. Larry. Loris. You may have escaped me yesterday. But today I'm going to get everything out of you. Oh, shit. The court will now adjourn for a 20-minute break. Miss Von Karma, please see to preparing the next witness. Understood, Your Honor. Good. Well then, court is now in recess. All right.
Larry is going to be useful. We're actually going to need his help. Sure, I'll give it a save. Um, this will be a little bit short, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it a little bit further. Just a couple more minutes, and then I'm going to stop. Hate to do it, but I got to. Excuse me, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm not really sure what to say. Iris, we only have 20 minutes. There are two things which I need to ask you before we can, re we can reconvene. God damn it, I can't read. I can't talk. All right, I'll help you any way I can. First, about that night. You really didn't go to the Inner Temple, correct? The last witness claims to have met and talked with you in the training hall. Either you or Sister Bikini is lying. Mr. Edgeworth, it is just as I said yesterday. Until the incident occurred, I was in my own room in Hazkura Temple. Very well. The second thing, then. That night, the temple snowmobile was used in between the time Sister Bikini returned to the main hall and when she bore witness to the murder. Sometime between 10.30 and 11 that night. Were you the one who used the snowmobile? There's only one key for the snowmobile, but she apparently had it. So maybe Larry didn't take it. But why? What made you go out to Dusky Bridge? I'm sorry. So she did. She did take it out there. Another Cyclock! Fuck! That's the third one for her! And th there's one other one that has five locks that's already still locked. And now there's this one. And then there's Larry's five locks. Enough with the locks! Yet? Not until her safety is confirmed. I'm sorry? What are you talking- Who? Who? Your sister? Who? Oh, Maya? She's must be talking about Maya. Iris, look me in the eye and tell me the truth. Did you kill Elise Donum? No matter who or what may come, I could never take a life. As I thought, no psycho lock. Very well. It is my job to get to the truth. You'll discover this for yourself soon enough. I can't wait to see all the all the connection with with her and, and Dahlia and whatever the hell happens with the rest of this case that makes it so great. Court will now reconvene and Godot, he's not even here yet. And Morgan Fay and fuck. Miss Von Karma, where is the witness? During the break, a man was detained for suspicious behavior in the gallery. Suspicious behavior? He was sketching something very intensely. Dare I ask what the witness was sketching when he was detained? He drew a terrifying woman, armed with a demonic face and a vicious whip. I can only presume that his intention was to capture- So if Larry was not in Justice for All, which I- I guess he wasn't. He doesn't know her? He, like, just met her? Or is just meeting her now? You think he'd like her? You think he'd like being dominated? That'd be interesting. Loris Donum, I hope you're ready. Get in here. It would seem that Whip is going to see plenty more use today. Hi there. Stupid ass. <laughs> Your sketch is in contempt of this court. Hey! I was just artistically rendering a- Ouch. You tried to run away from the bailiff who was trying to hand you your subpoena, correct? Look, I'm nothing but a fledgling artist training out in the mountains. I'm only down here in the city because I ran out of green paint. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, to use the technical term for the color Viridian. On the road to Viridian City. This isn't an art store, now is it? I know, I graduated junior high, okay? Look, art is all about working in the fields, isn't it? Working in the fields? I presume he wanted to say field work, I hope. That's it. Thanks, buddy. It's kind of sad that I was able to understand his mangled train wreck of a sentence. I just happened to stop in here and found a wonderful new model. You think he likes her? You think she's hot? I don't know. Or do you think he just... Because he thinks she looks evil and she's fun to draw. I expect all of your faces to be red when you realize this mistake. Bright red. Or, to use the technical term, Crimson Lake. I don't know, I think he likes it. My god. Stop your pathetic blabbing and testify like a man. Refrain from whipping me, Miss Von Karma. Cross-whipping is as bad as cross-checking. 
Okay. Witness, I, I guess these are hockey references. I don't fucking know shit. Because Canada, hockey, maple syrup, mooses. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time and we'll do the Larry thing. Loris, whatever. <laughs>